go with these diabetes stretches at home to help you stay flexible, loose, and limber for years to come. If you're new to my YouTube channel, my name is Caroline and I'm a health coach here to teach you how to use movement as medicine. On my channel, you'll find a variety of video content here to help you stay fit, stay positive, and live your very best life. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so we stay connected every time I upload new content that's just for you. But if you're ready to get loose, limber, and stretch it out, let's get started with this Diabetes Stretches at Home video routine. All right, let's get loose and light for the rest of your day. Let's start with a few nice deep breaths. Inhale, reach the arms up and exhale, bring them down. Again, inhale. Exhale. Last one, deep breath. And exhale. This time, reach the arms up. And as you exhale, cactus the arms and open the chest. Twice more, reach arms up and open. And lift, last time, and open. Reach the arms up, grab hold of your wrist, and lift up and out of the waist to side bend over, stretching through the entire side of the body. Take a big breath in, and a long breath out. Return to center, reach up, switching sides, and bend over, stretch all the way from the fingertips down into the foot. Breathe in and breathe out. Bring it back up to center and take your arms down by your sides. Roll your shoulders up, down and back. And a few more. Loosening up through the tightness and tension in the upper body is so key to you feeling good throughout your day. Let's take two more this direction and switch directions. Reverse shoulder circles forward. If you spend a lot of time at the computer or the desk, this is therapy. Last two and relax. Clench the fists and from here, energizing the rest of the body, take the neck and slowly circle around. And other way, circle. Wow, that feels good. And circle. Loosen up through the neck. And again. Nice, let's take two more, circle up and around. And last one, circle up and around. Return to center, relax the arms. Step one foot forward, one foot back. Press the heel into the floor, bending through the front knee and stretching through the back calf. Breathe in, breathe out. The calves get so tight, so it's important we regularly take time to lengthen them out. Step to center and switch sides. Press the heel back down into the floor, lift up through the belly and the waist, stretch through the calf muscle and breathe in and out. Beautiful job. From here, return to center. Take your feet about hip distance apart, bend your knees as much as you need to and hinge forward at the waist, bringing the hands towards the floor. Let your head fall down towards the ground. And again, if you need to, just bend your knees as much as you need. Breathe, inhale. And exhale. Breathe, inhale. Long exhale. From here, bend the knees and slowly roll one vertebra at a time all the way up to a nice strong stand. 
Let's try that calf stretch again. So bring one foot forward, one foot back, press the heel into the floor, lift up through the belly, and stretch through the back of the leg as you breathe. Breathe in. Breathe out. So proud of you for doing this. Step to center, switch sides. Step one leg back, lift the belly in and up, press through the back heel to stretch down through the calf, and breathe in and out. Return to center. And from here, I want you to take that forward fold one more time. So you're going to bend the knees as much as you need to. Hinge forward at the hips and bring the torso forward over the legs. Let the arms fall towards the floor. Let the head hang. And if you'd like to, you can grab hold of opposite elbows and just sway. Side to side. Wow, that feels good. Stay with it. Breathe, inhale. Exhale. Release the arms, bend the knees, and slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Shoulders down and back. Carefully come down to the mat. You'll bring yourself into a kneeling position with the hands under the shoulders and the knees under the hips. As you inhale, round the spine, arch the back, tuck the chin. And as you exhale, belly down, look up. Again, inhale, round and tuck. Exhale, belly down, look up. Last one, round, tuck, chin to chest. And belly down, look up. Return to center. And from here, step one foot forward, coming into a lunge position. Walk your hands to your front knee and push through the front knee to scoop the belly and stretch the hip flexor of the back leg. Now, if this is too much for you, you can do the same exercise standing like we did earlier in the video. So make sure that this exercise fits your body. As you stay in this lunge, you can reach the arms up towards the sky, feeling a nice stretch through the entire front of your body. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bring the hands to center. Return the front knee to that tabletop position. And switch sides, bringing the other foot forward, scooching the knee backwards, and then bring your hands to the front knee, coming into a low lunge position. Scoop the belly in, squeeze the back butt cheek, and if it feels right for you, reach your arms up into the sky. Breathe in. Breathe out. Great work. Bring the hands down. Slowly step this leg back, and then lay all the way down with your belly on the mat. Now this one is a little bit tricky, so maybe pause the video, watch it once if you'd like. But you're going to bring your arms out into a goalpost-like position, and then you're just going to twist one leg across the body, letting your chin fall on the mat, and stretching through your chest, shoulders, hip flexor, and back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Return to center. And switch sides. So the arms stay in goal post and you kick the leg across the body, letting the face fall sideways on the floor. This is an amazing stretch for the entire front side of your body. Breathe in. Breathe out. Return to center and slowly roll onto your back. So you can do this any way you'd like, but you're gonna lay all the way down into your back on the mat, bring your knees into your chest and give yourself a big hug. And take a moment to say, so proud of myself for showing up and stretching today. It's so good for my health. Keep one knee in and lengthen the other knee on the floor. Stretch through this hip and through the supporting hip flexor. Hang in there, and then from here, take this knee and twist, coming across the body. Feeling an amazing stretch through the shoulders, low back, hip, 
and IT band. Breathe in. Breathe out. Return to center, and let's do the same two stretches on the second side. Bring the knee in towards the chest, give yourself a hug. Feel an amazing stretch through the hip, the hamstring, and the low back. Softly inhale and exhale. And then from here, twisting, taking the knee across the body, reaching the arm in the opposite direction, twisting through the entire spine, breathing in, and breathing out. These twists are so incredibly restorative. 